Hey what's up everyone it's Jay from Jay's Tech and Tips and today's video is going to be about um, it's going to be a series of, of videos that I'm going to run once a week usually I'm going to run these on Thursdays and it's going to be like it's going to be about what has you upset in the technology world today so today's topic is going to be on Microsoft and Microsoft could be the topic for upcoming weeks also so what I would like to do if you guys are viewing this video, I'd like for you guys to leave your comments down below and let me know something that has you upset in the in the tech world. Something that maybe is pricing, quality of a product, or anything else like that. Leave it down below and I'll try to get a video in on it on the next upcoming week. So today's video, like I said, is about Microsoft. Um, um, specifically Microsoft Xbox One. The, the Xbox One. Okay, this here is the Xbox One stereo headset adapter okay I was a day one release person had my Xbox One on day one the day that it came out I also if I can, let me, if I can get them together let's see. I have these um, my Triton headphones I forgot what they cost $250 at the time okay excellent set of headphones so when the Xbox One came out, I had a problem. I wasn't able to use the chat feature with the headphones because Microsoft decided, hey, we're going to hold off. We're going to make people buy an adapter to be able to use that aftermarket um, headphones for them um, to be able to use a chat feature. Okay, that's fine because that's business. Like I, if you guys know I'm a business major, so I understand making money. However, you make them wait three months or two three months before a product has even come out that you can that they can purchase I think that's really poor marketing right there on their on their on their standpoint so I forgot the date and I've had to sit in the box forever because I was just upset so I haven't used it so the date that they came out then they only had a short supply of them so if you weren't one that either had it pre-ordered or had or were lucky enough to get it from a GameStop or somewhere else you're just you're just out of luck so how I luckily ended up getting mine on the day they were released was I found it on eBay now they ran $29.99 I think Walmart had theirs for $20, $29.99 GameStop had it for $24.99 at the time um, shows you how you can do the markup right there I ended up getting mine for $40 off of eBay and it's just something that I figured I had to have I at that time I was playing a lot of Call of Duty Ghost and not being able to communicate in that game on Xbox One was very difficult so it made it um, it made the gameplay not as exciting as it could be and I wasn't able to use my headphones the way they were supposed to be used um, so with the whole dog the reason I haven't even opened these up yet is lately I've been playing a lot of Titanfall so playing a lot of Titanfall I just really haven't gotten into using the um, it's not as much chatter you know chatting as it is on playing Call of Duty Ghost so I have I'm going to open these up and you know and get them working but it really upsets me Microsoft that you would go and to these lengths to you know stretch your customers out it's one thing that you make a product the Xbox one incompatible with these high these expensive aftermarket products like you know my Triton headphones that you make it difficult in that manner then also you make us wait for them then once you decide to finally release them you have a limited supply I mean this is very ridiculous and now they're out all over er out everywhere I'm thinking their purpose their their thing behind it was well maybe they'll go out and buy the Xbox one specific headphones and they'll go buy those instead of doing this well I, I like people that I know that have spent lots of money on the Astros and the Tritons and things they're not going to go to a lower quality the Xbox one headphones of all the ones that I've seen aren't very good quality so that's the video for today I want to let you guys know that Microsoft has me very upset for this notion so if you guys have something that's upsetting you right now in the tech world why don't you leave a comment down below let me know your thoughts what do you guys think what do you think about my video and if you guys haven't already subscribed hope you guys subscribe like the video it really helps me out a lot and I'll see you guys in the next video